15 years ago, I started my quest of nanocarbon. I started to look into the real science of how do plants grow. When plants are, are not using NPK and S fertilizer, they are physiologically changed to use more CO2 from the atmosphere and build more sugar. So sugar is nature's fertilizer. When this plant is growing and its physiology is shifted onto the sunlight energy, instead of the sunlight energy of NPK and S, that is fossil fuel energy that is brought to this farm 15 years ago. I stopped because I couldn't afford it anymore and I was driven to understand how plants grow because as a farmer I had no clue how plants grow. So as I studied further I now am applying pure science of nanocarbon stimulation so this plant can use the sun as its energy to make its own fertilizer. Okay, taking a look at the uh, roots and what's going on in our soils. So the uh, earth here is um, rich in uh, organic matter is the number one thing I would look at the soil. And I'd look at on the surface and see worm castings. You can see all the activity of the earthworms that have come up and put their castings there and uh, have helped oxidize the minerals that are in there and feed fungi and bacteria. So this plant is hooked up to the sun and, and flowing sugar back down. And so we'll take a look under the root system and see what's going on down under here. So when you break the soil and take a look, a ways, oh, this far away and, and quite a long distance, you'll have these fine, fine little feeder uh, roots that are going out and they're a super highway. This, this brassica plant doesn't use fungus uh, to find phosphorus. It, it, phosphorus. it sends out its own little tiny root systems. And you can just see it exploring uh, a major amount of this fertile earth. So when you take the, the soil and break it, it has nice aggregates and you can take it and you can compress it and then break it into those aggregates again. So this is not compacted soil. It is uh, very biologically active because you can feel a stickiness to it. So this plant is putting off um, the right chemistries to, to extract the nutrients out and you can feel the difference when you're feeling a biological soil that's living compared to a soil that has gone very sterile by putting on uh, NPK and S. So this plant is getting its nutrients by flowing sugar off of these roots and there's microorganisms that are in this soil. They're called free living nitrogen fixing bacteria and there's many different fungis and, and protozoa and nematodes and things that are beneficial to have an association with this plant to feed it growth promoting hormones to tell this plant, you know, get going tall, become positively charged in these leaves so that if they're positively charged, they're going to attract more negatively charged CO2 to that leaf to fix more sugar to flow down into the plant's uh, root system and extradate it off to feed the microbial life to keep carbon in our structure because if we don't have carbon in our soil it'll just become dirt and I am not interested in having dirt on my farm I want fertile microbial soil that I can produce my crops without buying NPK and S so that I can extract the nutrients that are in this soil and help the plant keep replenishing it by putting more carbon here. So the more I build the carbon, the more the nutrients are available and it's endless because I happen to own the surface rights that this root system can go down six feet deep and access those things if it needs to.